Six trees at once? I take that as a challenge. Oh! Whoa! That was amazing! That's super cool. I didn't even think I could do that. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Pal's Play Okami. Last episode, I had the special guest Nova. In this episode, I still have Nova. Say hi again. Hello! And last episode, we went around Shinshu Field, uh, defeating monsters and fighting trying, aliens. Or, trying to avoid right. distractions. Yes, and we actually did very well. Last episode was fairly long, but I, th I think Okami's episodes are going to be a little bit longer than Skyward Swords, just, just as a habit. So, yeah. This episode, we're going to be going into Kamiki Village, not Shinshu, as I made the mistake in the outro. Uh, so we're going to be going into Shinshu... Kamiki <laughs> to sprout the trees there there bloom them because they need a lot of TLC. So, let's go. Huh? Heading back to the village already? Check your map again. We haven't seen everything there is to see. Uh hmm. Oh, wow. Okay, that's what those red circles are. What? Those are places we need to see. Oh. We've already been down there. No, no, no. What they want us to do is go into there. Oh. Into that, into the moon, towards the moon cave where uh, Mika said that it had disappeared. Besides, a lot of things change in a hundred years. You should explore the whole area very carefully. Yes, I will. Uh, I'm going to cut over there. Ah, I didn't read what he said. But I'm going to cut over there because you guys have seen this area already. As long as we're here, we might as well see all that we can see. Tourism! Okay, so I'll, I'll cut over there. Be right back. Leap of faith! Here we are. This is the moon cave, as you remember from last episode and the episode before, before that. So, without further ado, let's go on in, since I haven't shown this yet. It looks like it ends in just a peninsula, but that is actually wrong. It just, it, we can't, it, the game can't load that much. Moon cave entrance. Huh? We passed under the shrine gate and followed in the narrow path. So where in the world's the moon cave? It should be right here. Hey, what's with that big old mountain over there? And since when did that appear in the middle of Lake Harami? They say the moon cave is where Nagi slew the legendary beast. But that huge mountain is way too big for the moon cave I remember. I mean, just look at it. It's massive. So apparently there used to be a cave here. Interesting. Hmm. In the middle of an ocean? It's a lake. Oh. Lake Harami. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. I didn't pick up on that in my first playthrough either, although this is this place is kind of hauntingly beautiful. Can you bloom those trees? Uh, I wouldn't think so. Probably not. Uh, let me try that one. No. Yep, they're, they're completely dead. Remnants here of some house? My guess is it's, it's the... The Waka guy that uh, Mika talked about, the uh, Tao Master Waka, that must be must have been his house. That looks like a place you shouldn't go into. Yes, it looks like a magical barrier, like in Wind Waker. Ooh. And it hurt us. Wow. Youch! What in the world? There's some kind of barrier here. Never seen one so powerful before. We better we better uh, we'd be better off slaying, staying away from this thing, slaying. Okay, so. There, I guess there's nothing here. Later, then. Onward. <laughs> Into a wall. So, with that out of the way, with that sight seen, <clears throat> and those selfies took, taken, <clears throat> taken took, then we can go. Let's go. So that's all he wanted us to see? Yeah. I think they just... The game is still... It's still a little bit in tutorial mode. It's just not as strong as, like, Skyward Sword or... A g another game, insert game here. Spyro. <laughs> Spyro's tutorial? Yeah, it has some tutorial parts. Oh. Yeah, I think I remember that. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've played Spyro. Ki uh, Nova's a big Spyro fan. Yep. Well, Ami, I think we'd, we've we seen uh, about all there is to see here in Shinshu Field. Maybe it's time we checked into so in on Sakuya back in Kamiki Village. And that is, is exactly what we're going to do. So, with the magic of editing, I'm going to speed up our travel back to Kamiki.
here we are. That was actually not even that long, even in real time. So, without further ado, let's go into Kamiki. It's exactly as we remember it, except this time there's a breeze, which they have to have a whole cutscene to point out. Wow, what's all this? The village is just bus bustling with activity. Well, if you call breeze activity. <laughs> I wonder what's going on. Oh, well, well, wow. Was this guy this established before? Wait. Did this guy have... Does he have new stuff? No, he does not. Well, I'm going to take an opportunity to, to restock here. So, I will be right back. There we go. I didn't buy anything because I actually found that I had more feed bags than I actually needed. But what I did is I sold all my all the treasure I'd accumulated. So, yeah. Oh, Pothead! Or Jughead, as I called him. Jughead. No, I called him Jughead. Oh, yeah, well, I'm calling him Jughead, too. Good. I like that better. I also like Moonshine Head, but no one's coming. Fifteen, what was that? Ah, ha, ha! What a joy to see life returning to the land! Oh, this is Kumoso, not Jughead, okay. Just fifteen more to go. We will be blessed with a miracle when all the trees are in bloom. Ah, so that's what this guy's doing here, jumping like a drunk person. <laughs> so you should probably be somewhat methodical about it. Yeah, I'm going to start at the top and work my way down. Mushi, it's been a while. Why, if it isn't the new king of hole digging? That old man is all excited about the sacred tree's recovery. <laughs> oh boy. Hayabusa! I can throw you away just like any other dog I don't like. In the dirt. A uh, woman who is actually named Mushi's Mama. I can't believe it. Our sacred tree, Konohana, is covered in leaves. That's my new voice for her. <laughs> Should be a good season for my turnips, too, then, I guess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, what was that? I have no idea. Uh, Kushi! The nice woman with the alcohol. This is this uh, this is the music old Mr. Orange does his dance to. Ah, it takes me back. He used to dance like that every single day. How many years has it been since the leaves blew about like this? Oh, it's, I get it now. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. It's it's nice to see our sacred tree, Konohana, in such good health. Is that? Oh, she's betting on me. Do you see that? Yeah. What is that over there? Is that a waterfall or? Yes. Oh, okay. It's just this game's art style. Uh, she has more to say. Ah, Mr. Orange's dance. Actually, with a woman speaking, you should do the... You read her. Read her, Kushi. No. Do it. No. You try a high-pitched voice. I I'd can't like to, do I'd her. like to hear that. <sighs> it reminds me of my childhood. There you go. I can't do that. It, uh, my voice will die by the Keep end going. of this recording. He, um, he could make any withered old trees spring into bloom with that, with a dance. But he gave up dancing a long time ago now. He said it was because the power of the gods had weakened. You'll find him at the sacred deck up on the hill. A sacred deck. Yes. They they made it and they're just like, this is sacred, yo. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Orange. Who makes the best cherry cakes in the world. Well, if it isn't Snowball, I love that name. Hard at work guarding your territory? A most refreshing breeze suddenly started blowing today. How many years has it been since Konohana was green and, f and fertile? Back then, the village's trees were in full bloom. Well, that's sad. Well, I'm not blooming any trees yet, so I'll help you out later. Let's go to the go to the top of the village just to see Mr. Orange, since apparently he's up there uh, dancing, drinking, or something. Oh, Everyone drinks yeah. here. <laughs> I'm not sure if you got the memo. Also, there should be a shop here. Yeah, it's really kind of out of the way. Yeah, it's just like, wait, what? You know? It would look nice, but it's out of the way. And run. There we go. Okay, let's see uh, Mr. Orange since he's on the sacred deck. The deck of sacreds. Orangey. Mind if I call you that? What's up? <laughs> oh, I, I love this. Look at them moves, yo. Moscow, Moscow. Man, that guy can dance. I would imagine he would have done it faster in his younger days. Yeah, he probably played a lot of Dance Dance Revolution. 
Phew! The blessing of the gods allows me to keep dancing like this. You keep telling yourself that, buddy. More like a lot of a lot of coffee, monster, Red Bull, and uh, what's Sake. the other one? What's the other one? Charged up or whatever. Rockstar? <laughs> Rock? No, not Rockstar. Yeah. Amp. Amp. That's what I'm thinking. That of. too. Yeah, that's probably it. Well, we might as well start blooming these. I was stuck. We might as well start blooming these trees since uh, day the day isn't getting any younger. So, bloomage. I'm not going to be uh. I'm not going to be cutting these out or speeding this up just because it. I don't like doing that. It's. I'm not a fan of it. And you know, I was stuck at this point for a while because I missed one stinking tree. Yeah. So, might as well show everyone where they all are. Yeah. Well, I mean, if I sped up, that would, that would do the same exact thing. But I, I see your point. Uh, I just want to jump off here and go this way. Yeah, this way, because it brings me right down the stairs, and there are no trees along that stair well. What's so. up here? This way is the Konohana tree. Okay. I just want to make sure that there are no stray trees up here, because you could just picture the designers. Also, I do not want it to be nighttime. Uh, I do not. I would not put it past the designers to do this, to like put one tree in the corner. Hey, a sake, my little blo- uh, sake. <laughs> hey, a sakuya, my little blossom. You're looking mighty fine, thanks to us. He, I'm surprised he didn't say me. Dot, 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 dot. Hey, why doesn't she say something? And where is she, anyway? I don't see any sign of her. She didn't kick the bucket, did she? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's talk to these people, since I believe there's something, like, there's... We've talked to them before, but... They're going to say something different now. I think there's something impo important about them. Sis, sis, this tree suddenly burst out in leaves. Not in bloom, but in leaves. I, I know. I saw it, too. Um, that is an odd hat. Yeah, it's like a beekeeper thing, I no, guess. No, it's not. What is it? Or it would be closed all around. Stop! What do you think you're doing? <laughs> also, I know something cool. You see the statue here? Mm -hmm. Watch. This is so neat. What? Okay. Uh -huh. You see it, right? Yeah. It, it's normal. Yeah. But... Don't blink. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Isn't that neat? You go through the gate? Yeah. Oh. And it becomes a portal to the cave of Nagi. And those people disappear. Isn't that neat? Interesting. Yeah. I'm not going to burn any more time. I'm just going to run down here. Hey, why don't I do the trees? Uh, but I want to bloom. Okay. <laughs> You had control a lot last episode. You know, out of context, that would sound really weird. <laughs> I want a bloom. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can get two for the price of one. Grandma. How I, did I know you were going to say that? I have to make that reference every single time I say two for the price of one. Okay, there are these trees. Anyone, any of them behind? I think. Wait, yeah. what? Oh, there's anything one. out there? Uh, I don't think to there right? are any trees. There's a treasure chest over there, but there are no trees to bloom. Okay. Uh, anything else? I think we're almost done. Like, we've bloomed probably like 10 now. Here's one. Uh, here is another over there. Let me make sure there's no... Ah, double whammy. Right there. Right there. Go and bloom this. I think we have five left. I think we do. Also, she was happy because we bloomed it. And one more. And another one. And then there's some on Susano's area of the town. The town where no one builds their house, because that's Susano's side of the town. He needs a lot of room, I guess. Yeah, really, look at this. It's like, okay, they're like, trying to be polite, so the, so they, they're they like, uh, this is your side of the, ha the town, because you're a great warrior, you get this whole area to yourself. Now don't come over to our side. <laughs> I can just picture them doing that. Mr. Orange just probably doesn't like Susano that much. Uh, trees, ah, there's one right next to him. <laughs> <laughs> that was fail. Really? Game. Game. There we go. Okay. Are there any left? Oh, that was it. Let's talk to him. Every single withered tree in this village is now in full bloom. Now, all we must do is wait. Wait for the miracle to take place. That was so easy. I wonder which one I missed last time. I don't know, but like... I'm surprised I did that well. I know. It's your. It's because you're here. I give compliments. I tend to do that sometimes. I'm known for that. Really? 
<laughs> no. Is that I'm actually so? not. I'm I'm a little bit for Pal's play, I think I'm a little bit more known for being a, a horrible jerk to Ryan in that one episode. <laughs> in my own opinion. He didn't even agree. He was just like, nah, I didn't notice anything, but I'm like, I sound like a total jerk. It's horrible. That one where he kept face planning? No, 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 the other one. Oh. I was just like constantly insulting him. It was just weird. Also, this is good music. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let me talk to Mr. Orange, and now he will do the full-fledged dance. At last. At last, the answer to all my prayers. He doesn't sound like that. He's oh yeah, he doesn't. Man. But he, he has the voice now. All of the village's trees have sprung back to life. It is time to harness the power that dwells within the good earth. Look at his eyelashes. Yes! <laughs> It is time for the Konohana Shuffle! I shall summon back the spirits of the divine tree Konohana. Why did I say spirits? Because of this. <laughs> Sake of Valor! <laughs> but first, I must break my vow of temperance. I shall gingerly sip this sake. Uh-huh. <laughs> and soon we shall see blossoms. He'll be seeing more than that. <laughs> you read my mind. <laughs> the spirits are within me. <laughs> oh yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Look at the orange on his head. <laughs> Hey, Gramps! <laughs> look at look at the eye line. <laughs> you okay? You got a real weird look in your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Snowball, Isun, what you're about to see is the stuff of legends, <laughs> the breath of legends. <laughs> <laughs> Behold, the secret of secrets! I give you the Konohana Shuffle. And this is interactive, so don't be taken by surprise. We have to use Bloom. Dolph Tricks. RQ. Bloom. Many people struggle with this. And... Bloom! And Bloomidocity. Uh, Bloomercosity. <laughs> and in the name of Moscow, I bloom. This! Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't fall over from being so drunk. And now the Konohana tree is bloomed. Or blemmed. Whatever the past tense word is. Ah, Great Matarasu. Sakuya. You're alive, and you, um, look very nice. Little bug friend, I see you are full of spunk as always. I also owe this elderly gentleman my deepest thanks. What bravery. I would call it that. <laughs> Mere words cannot express the depth of my gratitude. Thanks to you all, I have been restored and re-energized. Mm-hmm. Go. Of course, the one who deserves my thanks and respect the most is none other than the glorious God Amaterasu. Praise be to you. Thank you for your creepy laugh. I will have nightmares always. And, and, and praise. I also have praise. 
I cannot guarantee that it will be that it'll mean salvation for all of Nippon. But if you restore the guardian saplings spread about the land, you too will benefit from the power that results. I will remain in Kamiki, praying for your mission success. How I look forward to gazing upon you again. May the fresh scent of flowers protect you always. And with that, the Konohana tree is mostly restored. Pretty much. Mostly? Mostly. Aw oh, man, what now? Yay! Yet another brush technique. One, and... two. That <laughs> was very off. But thank you, game, for being charitable. We have... one of the trio. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> uh... Ah, uh, Amaterasu, the origin of all that is uh, good and mother to us all. Long have I hidden myself here among the nature of Kamiki. But, uh, 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 time has come for I, uh, Hazagami, proud member of the Hanagami trio of flora gods, to reveal myself. May my power be of assistance on your grave quest. Grave? How can it be grave with your humor? <laughs> I can only assume he... When, uh... When Mr. Orange threw that sake backwards, like... The monkey god drank it. I think he polished it all off. Yeah, oh, are you sure? Probably. Because he was... That monkey was probably drunk. Holy smokes! That was Hazugami! With the water lily power, you can create lily pads on water. Oh, snap. You can use them to cross any body of water. Let's try it out. Come on, Ami. This way. Now, remind me, is the uh, swimming dynamic on here like other games where you have a limited amount of time? Yes. Okay. It's like Wind Waker. Okay. I've been eyeing that treasure chest out there for some time. I have to. Why don't you create some lily pads here? Make them like stepping stones all the way to the to the islet. With the water lily brush technique, oh wait, yeah, the the water lily brush technique creates lily pads on water. All you got to do is draw circles on the water. Another circle brush technique. Come on, furball, let me see you work wonders with that brush of yours. That we will. Circle. Yes, that's it. Auto jump because the game wants to hold her hand. Hey, hey, wipe that smirk off your face, furball. Mm -hmm. At least we don't have to worry about getting wet anymore. I know. Now that you have this new power, let's use it to travel a bit further out out of the village. That we can. Remember the waterway leading out of the for leading to the forest that I told you about. Slow text gets me every time. Circle the map. Yes, the Agata Forest, uh, uh, fairy port. Our little Sakuya is back to her old peppy self, but... There are still lots of guardian saplings that haven't blossomed. Slow pan. Man, that looks beautiful now. Ooh, I forgot to go over something, which I'll go over at the end of this video. There we, but for now, stutter. Uh, we have a stray bead, which oh wow, we have a sun fragment. Ooh, nice. What? Uh, I didn't even know that was there. <laughs> well, props to me for not looking at the guide. Okay, so we have a new sun fragment. So, text box on screen right now for those of you who are playing along. So what we want to do is we want to meander. Yes, meander. I love that word over to this island and just jump over here and create one right here and jump up now i'm r going back to what the uh the dance the konohana shuffle i am super surprised that i got that in one try nova remembers the first time i played this game how many tries yeah. did i take 
Like you, 20? It probably took you at least half an hour. Really? Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, I've gotten a lot better at and that. And that was with both of us handing it off and yeah. trying. Yeah, that was just bad, but one try. That's really I good. I was the first one to do pretty well on that, though. Of course you were. <laughs> now, there's a stray bead here somewhere on this island. Can you look on the guide real quick? Yeah. There is a stray bead. I know it for a, a fact. Does it have to be nighttime, maybe? No, it's nighttime. You can see them more clearly, but it's around here somewhere, but it doesn't need to be nighttime for you to get it. But I cannot see the handle. Okay. I'm going to cut this grass, just to be sure. Buried on the north. Okay. To the left of the clover. Okay. It has to be nighttime. Does it say it has to? Well, it says that's the only one it says it for. <sighs> Wonderful. We'll come back later then. Yeah. For now, I'll just go we show go. something I haven't shown yet. It, it's in a. It's over by the Konohana tree, which I'll. I won't cut there because I want to talk about some stuff. Well, besides the fact that I was surprised that I was able to complete that in one go, another thing is uh, something that the designers chose for Sakia that I'm really glad they didn't do. Huh. In concept design. There were meant to be three tiers of Sakuya's appearance. Each time would be oh. a new level of power. And each time she had less and less clothing. Her third phase, which they did not include in the game, thank goodness, uh, had her pretty much completely naked. Yep. So, props to the designers for thinking that up? Not really. And props to them for f immediately dismissing it. Because this game would have been rated M. So, uh, every time we restore the uh, restore a guardian sapling, one of these fruits will appear on the Konohana tree. Hmm. And just like before, when we were restoring Kamiki Village, you just want to power slash them down. Possibly. You could try. Really, game? Game. Seriously. Throw me a bone. Power slash. Game? Back up. No, I'm going to try to wall jump. Or not. Wait. Wow. Back up. Okay, well, I'm gonna try this. First person view, or first wolf view. Power slash. There we go, I actually missed it completely. And we'll get a special reward. For this one, we get a bull horn. Do you sell it? Yeah, Decor decorative accessory rot from the bull of a, uh, horn of a bull. A bull of a horn. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we can sell that. I'm not sure for how much money. Probably a lot, considering it's like a specific uh, specific reward. It's not. It's not just something randomly oh, found. That's what those things are for. Yeah, I know that. Nico's there. Not trace of evil remains here. Life in the village is restored. Mm -hmm. Ah ha ha! <laughs> you certainly look pleased with yourself. But still, now great darkness shrouds your vision. May the enlightenment of Buddha await you. Yeah, this is like the only believer in Buddha in the game. And he's one. The, the only one the designers d uh, chose to give a pot head. Jug. Pot. Jug. Pot. Junk. Pug. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, we're going to go and cut back to nighttime, just because we're doing nothing right now. So I will be right back. Okay, we're back. Uh, in between the cuts, or yeah, off screen, Nova went ahead and fed some birds that were right there. They're only there in the daytime, so that those are birds that I missed when I went through the town feeding everything. So yeah, that's. That's all that happened. Also, she got a little bit of money from the grass. So, uh, where you want to go is right. She's in control, by the way. I just want to make that clear. Now oh, she's in yeah. con control. Turn right. We're going to get that stray bead. Over there. Right. Okay. Yeah. Also, those lily pads are still there. That's interesting. Did you just make one? No. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, you have to do a dash run. You know how to do that, right? Shake it, jump. Yeah. Okay. Or that. That works, too. Shake it and then jump. Or that. That's fine. Y you have to do a shake jump to make... Oh, wait. No, never mind. I've made one over there. Okay, so there is the stray bead. I'm not even sure if it's possible to get it in the daytime, because you can't see it, but... Actually, there are two. Oh, no. <laughs> Which one is it? I'm suddenly... Oh, there it is. Okay. Stray right. bead. Two of three for Kamiki. <laughs> the last one we can't get until, like, much later, so... Yeah, there we go. And there's something in here. There it is. You obtain Infinity Stone. Ooh. 
Ink stone th uh, uh, with lim uh, limitless source. Oh, wait. So is it something you use? Go like and pause. A... Minus plus. <laughs> Tools. Uh, go to that. Okay. So ink stone with limitless source. Temporarily enjoy infinite ink. That's neat. So you use that like you'd use a vengeance slip? Yes. Okay. And it will give you infinite ink. That's really useful. I'm not sure when I'm going to use that. Maybe when there's super hard battle, I'd use that with the vengeance slip. I don't know. Uh, Can you buy these? Probably somewhere. Hmm. My guess is it's at one of those special Demon Fang stores. Ah. That would make the most sense. Okay, so go ahead and exit out. Uh, go ahead and press Z. Bark. Okay, we have 59 prayers. Okay, we can't upgrade anything. So, uh, I think that's going to be it for this episode. I know it's a little bit strange, you know, with what we've gotten done. You know, there hasn't been a lot of... Well, actually, no, I won't say that. There's been a lot of progress, wouldn't you say? It just There's yeah. been a lot of cutscenes, so it makes it seem like there hasn't been. But we've gotten a lot done. And actually, now that this is all done, Shinshu Field and Kamiki Village are completely done for now. We have nothing left to do in them. So, next episode, I will be going into Agata Forest through there, through that port. I really like that place. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Also, good things happen in that area. Good things. Don't say what, but good things. Oh, yeah. Yep. I know what you're talking yeah. about. So, uh, you can tell that I'm looking forward to that. So, you, you should too. So, next time, we're going to be going in Agata Forest. I release new episodes of Okami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes. And I'll see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Okami. Bark, bark. Aww. Thanks, Nova, for being here, by the way. No problem. And I'll see you guys next episode.